everyone, and welcome back to week eight of our family devotional. Can anyone tell me what book of the Bible we've been studying? That's right, it's Genesis. And Genesis is the first book in the Bible. It's part of the Old Testament, right? And um, today I have been thinking about, have you ever been treated unfairly? Yeah? When we face hard times, we often feel that life is unfair. We never want to struggle with sadness or hurt. And today we will begin learning about a person who faced some very hard times. His brothers hated him and made a plan to get rid of him. But before we read from our Bibles, let's open in prayer, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for the time we have to spend together. Pray that you will send your Holy Spirit to open the eyes and ears of our hearts as we read from your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, do you know what we need? That's right, we need our Bibles and a piece of paper and something to write with. Okay, so if you want to, you can pause the video now to go get those things. So, on our piece of paper, we're going to write the word Joseph and the word brothers. If you want to, you can draw pictures to represent those two words. And as we go through, make a little check mark as I'm reading and see if you can count how many times the word Joseph comes up and how many times you hear the word brothers. Okay? All right. We are going to be reading Genesis 37. Let's begin. Genesis 37. Jacob and his family lived in Canaan, the land that God had promised to his grandfather Abraham and his family. Jacob had 12 sons, but his favorite son was Joseph. Jacob gave Joseph a colorful robe. Joseph's brother saw that Jacob loved Joseph most and they hated Joseph. One day Joseph told his brothers about a dream he had. He dreamed that he and his brothers were putting together bundles of grain. Suddenly Joseph's grain stood up and the other bundles bowed down to his. The dream meant that Joseph would rule over his brothers. Joseph's brothers hated Joseph even more. Then Joseph had another dream. In this dream, Joseph saw the sun, moon, and 11 stars bowing down to him. This dream meant all of Joseph's family, his brothers, his mother, and his father would one day bow down to Joseph. Joseph's brothers were more jealous. Sometime later, Jacob sent Joseph to check on his brothers who were tending sheep. When the brothers saw Joseph coming, they decided to kill him. But Joseph's oldest brother, Reuben, did not want to kill Joseph. Let's just throw him into a pit, he said. When Joseph arrived, the brothers took off Joseph's colorful robe, colorful robe and threw him into a pit. Then they saw a caravan of people heading to Egypt. They decided to sell Joseph to the travelers as a servant for 20 pieces of silver. The travelers took Joseph to Egypt. The brothers dipped Joseph's colorful robe into blood and took it back to their father. We found this robe, they said. Jacob recognized the robe. He believed a wild animal had killed Joseph, and he cried loudly because he thought his favorite son was dead. Whew. Wow, you guys. How many times did you count Joseph and brothers? Let's see. I counted Joseph. Is that right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 times, and I counted brothers 12 times. Do you have the same amount? Yeah? So, Joseph, who sat in a pit while his brothers decided how to use him. What was that? At first they wanted to kill him, and Reuben didn't want to kill Joseph, so he suggested throwing Joseph in a pit. Reuben planned to rescue Joseph later, but Judah persuaded the others to sell Joseph as a slave. What a terrible thing for a sibling to do to his or her brother. What happened to Joseph was incredibly sad and difficult. 
At the start of the story, he talked about the dreams he had, which suggested he would one day rule over his brothers and even over his father and mother. By the end of the story, Joseph's brother sold him into slavery and his father thought he was dead. Thankfully, Joseph's story doesn't end there. We will learn in coming weeks, but God was that we will learn in the coming weeks that God was not finished with Joseph. He still had plans for the young man, and God planned to use Joseph to save all of his people. And the wonderful thing about God's plans is that nothing can stop them. All right? So let's take a few minutes now to pause the video and talk through this week's questions as a family. And I will see you back here when you are done. All right, you guys, it's memory verse time. Our memory verse is from Genesis 39, 2a. The Lord was with Joseph. Really important thing to remember, um, given everything that Joseph had gone through. Okay, so for our challenge, you will need some small pieces of paper and something to write with. And on the small pieces of paper, you're gonna write directions, some silly directions, like plug your nose, stand on one leg, or say the verse with your tongue stuck out. Okay, you'll put all of those directions in a bowl and you can take turns pulling one out at a time. That everyone needs to do the thing written on the piece of paper while they're reciting the verse, like this. The Lord was with Joseph, Genesis 39, 2a. Okay, and you can go through all those things and just keep repeating that verse. All right, well, let's close in prayer now. I hope you have fun with that challenge. Let me know if you do, okay? Let's close in prayer and thank God for the time we had together. Gracious God and Father, we praise you for your goodness and faithfulness. Please help us to love, trust, and follow you always. Through the hard times and the easy times, we love you, Lord. Amen. All right, well, I hope you have a brilliant week, and I look forward to seeing you back here next week for our next devotional. Bye.